What is this? That is soft enough. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, you can literally just see the dirt just in the suds. It's gross. Hi guys and welcome back to another video back on the Driven 24-7 Automotive YouTube channel and by accident I've seen to have taken over the driveway because we have here my E36 BMW and we have behind me there my Toyota Celica which if you click on the card above you'll see the fancy reveal video I did on that car well it's not fancy it's just a reveal video but Martin is behind me because we're going to start tidying up the car as in cleaning it so the leather interior is really dirty it's like an ivory white the seats and the interior so that is actually at the moment like brown done a couple of test patches it comes up really well so we're going to clean the rest of the interior today Martin's is going along at the moment just tidying up a bit of dirty sea so he's just doing around the boot at the moment let's show you some befores and then hopefully some afters just on the driveway where we don't have access to water around here but we also do around the front but while the car's on the driveway martin's just going along as you can see there's loads of dirt and at the moment he's just got a brush and he's got some all-purpose cleaner and like i said in previous videos we were ex valitors or martin still is a valitor so we have a good product knowledge when it comes to cleaning cars and products and stuff so Martin's just going along cleaning some of the rubbers as well while we're here. So Martin hasn't started cleaning any of the passenger side, but obviously the passenger side seat isn't going to be as dirty as the driver's seat. But here is the passenger seat, so you can still see there is it is a little bit grimy. And the door car is obviously quite clean for it being a obviously passenger side. The rear seats again quite clean. No one's probably ever sat in there, but also we're going to clean them anyway. We got a dirty gear stick. The handbrake's got dirt on it as well. You can sort of see there. Got a nice centre console which would benefit from a clean steering wheel. Also needs to clean as well. And also you can just see there the test patch on the right of your screen and a bit we haven't done. It's quite obvious, which is good. And again, Martin's done a patch on this bolster and a patch there but the rest of it is just brown well it's going to really benefit from a clean i mean look how gross that is it's probably been like 20 years of dirt on that chair and it's weird because obviously the couple spent a thousand pound on the interior of this car but maybe it hasn't been cleaned as often as it should have done but that's cool we're here to take care of that and look after it from now on now it's in our ownership We've got a bit of g101 all-purpose cleaner by autosmart which is a highly rated product and martin now has loads of it so martin's just done this sort of rubber and as you can see it's really clean and as you can see up here the bit he hasn't done is obviously not clean but yeah just by having clean rubbers i mean what a difference that is it's all nice factory colors as well yeah. isn't it and it just brings back the suppleness yeah, it just looks matte finished, doesn't it? It's nothing like yeah. shiny, it's just normal. It looks a lot newer than what it is. Yeah, exactly. But it, this is just what it needs, a bit of love from us. Martin's just cleaned this bit as well, as he's going around the sort of seals here. It is the same video. I've just gone inside and changed my top to feel like I was being too brave and too confident wearing a white top while we're cleaning a dirty car. So I'm just sat on the passenger side. I think Martin's mainly going to be in charge of the leather. I might just start wiping down just the plastic, so then maybe, like I say, do the steering wheel and the gear knob and handbrake i'm just going to clean all this sort of bit up i think i'll start on that now so martin's actually i'm just going to sit in the passenger seat and watch martin for a minute they're just spraying liberally the uh, interior well the all-purpose cleaner all over that dirty bit of leather there and literally as martin's cleaning it you can sort of see it just getting cleaner by every sort of brush he does and yeah it's just obviously a lot of folds of leather he's got to work in between as well wow look at that you can see down the bottom there that bottom half it's literally being cleaned right before my eyes you can literally see that cleaning as i'm filming that and this will just brighten up the interior so much obviously just by the actual white being white i mean look how grimy this driver's seat is it's gross so while martin's still you can hear him brushing away in the background i'm just going to get some interior cleaner spray it on my little cloth try and do this one-handed Got a bit of dust up there. God, it smells dusty while I'm doing this. Nice airbag there as well. This plastic's actually in quite good condition. There's to be a bit of like mould stuff here, so I might use a brush. I'm just showing you the before and I'll show you the after in a minute. Hopefully that this panel here comes off okay. It looks it's a bit greeny. I think I might have to use a bit of a harder brush, but it just looks a bit better just from using a little sort of paintbrush, soft brush. 
So yeah, I think that green's pretty much gone now from that little panel on the side here. When I'm sat down, I might just put a bit of uh, cleaner on the brush and just get in between these switches and that. Just work my way down the console really, because it's like dirt in here and stuff like that. Clean this panel up. I mean, it just looks just nice and crisp and matte. It's just nice. Poor, poor Martin, he started doing this bit, which by the way, doesn't this now look really, really good? And he's just, every time he sees dirt, he just gets sidetracked and just, but yeah, that's what we're here for, to uh, get rid of dirt, basically. So let's carry on doing that. So we're just going to tackle this bit now. Ugh. Loads of blanking switches here. This bit here, I think that's the bit that lights up when the alarm's on. It's just nice to clean a car when you get a car as well, just gets rid of all the... Well, it just makes it feel like it's your own end, doesn't it, really? That's a nice bit of foam in action. Get the old cloth. Hope you ain't damaged this. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, this car is coming up really well with the interior. I wonder if I'll get the little brush in there in a minute. Just a little bit. I think that's this area pretty much clean out just working our way down and down martin's gone you can come in we've got a bucket of water to rinse all our dirty brushes out right so i've just got some cleaner on the brush and i'm just gonna i don't know just go for it i guess god it's like brand new wow The condition of this interior is actually pretty good, like all the plastics and stuff in it, because it's just got a nice matte shine to it. Let it fester for a minute. Yeah. See, apart from cracking, really, and there's a little little hole here. Could have done with a bit more. Door. <laughs> oh, I've just absorbed that. Yeah. God, that grime is just coming straight off. God, look at that. The thing is, though, where the cracks are, the, it's, the dirt's, dirt's gone into the cracks, hasn't it, as well? It makes all. it look worse, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. Because of all the cracks. Once the, the cracks I mean, start. look at that. It's so satisfying. Oh, you can literally just see the dirt just in the suds. It's gross. I think having white leather as well, not being funny, you're going to see the biggest difference, obviously, aren't you? Because you can definitely see where the dirt is to where it's not. Yeah. So you're going to get the best results of, obviously, a dirty white leather when it's all cleaned up I mean oh it's gross I'm dying for you to just wipe it off in a minute oh, I was just so satisfying I'm not doing it too hard it's quite no. light yeah not forcing it and like it's probably gonna need a couple of wipe overs just as well. agitating it yeah this is gonna be the most satisfying bit wipe off that loose dirt let's go I've just been doing the gear. Why do I keep calling it a gear stick? A handbrake. And all this black has like just come off it. It's gross. Martin's obviously now started on the main bit of the seat. Just doing a little patch at a time, being careful that we have got a small hole. You can just see the dirt literally come off. I'm still going with the uh, driver's seat. I might just tackle the gear knob a second. This is loose, but I'm going to just try and work around it. So, whatever. Just got my old purpose cleaner, it's not as good as Martin, so admittedly. Let's see if this is dirty then, so clean cloth, pretty much. Oh, it's not that bad actually. This is grimy, this handbrake. Mm. Gross. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Jesus, that looks. Tell you what. Because obviously that dirt hides in the creases, it looks worse than it is. Do you see what I mean? You can't... It shows up the creases is what I'm saying, because there's dirt hiding in them. Oh, that dirt's just come straight off onto there. Mm. I think this needs a bit more hard agitation as well. Look at that, it's black. Mm. Gross. Oh, look. Mm. This is grim. Oh, flipping heck. This is gross. Yeah, so that bolster's nice. Oh my god. 
literally brightens up the interior of that. Mm. Like I said a minute ago, although it's obviously very cracked, the leather, when you clean it and the dirt isn't in the cracks, showing up the cracks more, it's so much better. I mean, all this back bit here, obviously that dirt is just full of, like, those, those cracks are full of dirt, basically, but when that dirt's gone, you won't see the cracks as much. Martin has sighed on the passenger seat, which obviously isn't going to be, or wasn't as bad anyway to begin with as a driver's seat, but nevertheless, it is a... Uh, Pretty grimy at the moment before Martin works his magic, but I might just start on sort of all these buttons and bits and bobs here. So this bit's done now, yeah? It's just that one bolster, is it, Martin? Yeah. Just run it with the cloth. That is soft, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's gorgeous. Like it's brown. 23 is there years in here? old, yeah. Nothing in there. So yeah, clean. I suppose that's how it's meant to be, obviously. Yeah. This is so quick on the back. This is where we seem to be at at the moment with the leather. And this has taken, well, cr all credit to Martin really, he's been the leather man, I've been the plastics girl. I haven't done the back, which obviously won't need a lot anyway. But yeah, I think we'll call this, uh, the front's uh, done. All right, so we are back, it is the next day. So where we were at yesterday was we finished cleaning both the fronts of the leather, we are going to coat it in like some conditioner as well but we've done the cleaning process on the front next step is we're going to hoover all the sort of carpet and hoover in between the nooks and crannies you should obviously hoover leather before cleaning but we skipped a step, you know, send us to prison and then I'm going to hoover the back seats because there are like some dirt hiding around in the deep sort of cracks there and the back seats obviously weren't as dirty as the fronts to begin with anyway but we'll clean them and then like I said we'll condition all the seats all at the end of the cleaning process just looking a much more brighter and whiter this I need to fix I guess this should just sit in there a bit better but it isn't but that's cool we'll sort it so it's a very hot day out at the front here. We've got the car outside the front of the house as well, so we'll connect all the hoover up and uh, let's get cracking. So you started on that one? I'm just done there and there, there, and just start in the middle of it here. This is a bit better doing the back, although you're hot, at least you've got your bucket in there. So yeah, I've hoovered this uh, first, which is actually the right way around to do things, but you know. So it seems as though Salika is having a funny little five moments, because I've just opened that window, so mine doesn't die of heat exhaustion or whatever you want to call it. And I've gone to open the driver's side window, and that won't now work. However, the aerial, which usually needs a bit of a helping hand going down, um, has gone down its own without a helping hand, but now the window's playing up, so I don't quite know what's going on there. We'll leave it for a minute. Maybe it's having a funny five minutes or something, but this is, won't work at the moment at all. Well, you can call me a mechanic now. I've just gotten all this out by myself, which is quite an accomplishment for me. So, yeah, this is where the driver's window, which isn't working. The only thing I can think of is when I was cleaning the switch yesterday, a bit of water's got in. So I'm maybe just going to disconnect this and see if anything's wet, basically. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. So I've just put it all back together. Basically, I took all these off and there's like a motherboard in there. So I lifted it up blew it a bit uh, <laughs> and when I took the switches out as well they were really dusty so I just gave them a clean up so let's plug it into the car I'm very doubtful this will work but we'll give it a go so that's back in and it hasn't fixed it so I don't really know what's going on so we are done with the cleaning stage of the lever so the lever is now all cleaned don't know what's going on with this. It seems like this is packed up and the area will start going down on its own, which has never happened before. But I don't know. I'll leave the window switch for a little while, see if it dries out or whatever's wrong with it, sort itself out and whatever. Let's show you what we're going to use to condition the seats. So we're going to be using this Gold Class uh, by Maguire's. It is a cleaner, conditioner, and protectant. We have cleaned it, but I guess it will clean it anyway and condition it. But the main thing is to condition and protect the seats that we have just cleaned. So, yeah, a bit of an expensive product, but should do the job, so let's give it a go. So I don't think you need to be too particular with this product, you just literally wipe it all over with one cloth and buff it off with another cloth, so it's just going to condition. It might make it look a bit better, maybe add a bit, bit of a bit shine. Of a gloss, yeah. Will it? Yeah, that'd be nice. Quite a good little pump there as well, it's like a hand soap. Mm. I don't know if it's me, but you can tell it's a bit more glossier. Yeah, we should do, yeah. Well now this car's in our ownership it won't be getting left another 20 years before this gets cleaned again. We'll be on it now. Because we'll see it being well, white they say it will this get once dirtier. a month, once every couple of months. Yeah. Once every month. Also because it is white it will show the dirt more so obviously we'll have to do it a bit more. Well it is isn't it? Ivory white. Mm. 
ivory. He's not white. So we're just buffing it off with a dry microfiber cloth now. On the passenger side. That looks nice as you're putting it on. I surprised myself again, not only have I taken this apart today by myself, but this was pretty loose, so I literally just lifted this bit of plastic up. I've done a gate before on MX-5, but yeah, whatever. So I lifted this up and just clipped this back in, and hopefully that is now in place as to how it was earlier. Just getting more confident doing little bits, guys. It's all good. Just leaving a bit of a sort of sticky finish, which I guess is good. It obviously shows that a product has been applied, and maybe that stickiness is like the sort of layer, basically, that hopefully is now on the uh, leather interior. We'll keep an eye on this. We'll maybe do it again in a month's time or so. And yeah, the leather will now be treated as it should be in our ownership. As you can see, Martin's now just working on the rear bench here. Taking the carpet out, Martin's gone around and hoovered the whole car because I only did half of it earlier. And we've just noticed that the wood has been covering up the spare wheel. Now we can see a tyre, but we don't know if it's a steel wheel or what's underneath here. So, just got the camera out, we're going to finish undoing this for a second. Oh, there we go. And then, you ready? Hang on, hang on. Okay. OMG! OMGs, what is this? So this is how the original wheels are meant to look. So we got like a polished outer face with like a gunmetal metallic grey on the inner. I mean, Toyota there, yeah. Sides are there. It's like a little time catch-all fossil, isn't it? We've just uh, dug up. Fossil. I mean, Dorset fossil, that is. A Dorset fossil. I mean, that is how all four... Oh, it's amazing that this wheel was just obviously it's been here for probably 20 odd years and the house the ones that are all on the car look at that that is meant to be like that i mean it's just totally nuts if i was ever going to get them re i mean i think it's just a two-tone colors so it cost me a lot to refer them because they'd have to do it like this and like this so i'll probably never even if i get the original one to done they'll never look like this it'll just be one silver or maybe this color but Wow, it's so cool to know that obviously this one has been untouched because it hasn't been on the car. And the ones that are on the car are just absolutely knackered. I mean, look at that. Martin had a spare rubber mat, so that's gone in the driver's side. The driver's side had no mat at all. The carpet quality in this is nice and thick, actually, so good on Toyota. So the seats have been cleaned and conditioned by my lovely fiancé, Martin, who I am very grateful for his assistance. And we just like tidying and cleaning cars. That is just what we do. All in the meantime... The driver's side window switch has packed up, but the electric aerial has started working on its own, going down its own anyway, so yeah, weird things are happening. So just put the gear gator back in, you saw me do that earlier as well, so that just looks nice and tidy. So yeah, I'll just put in now a uh, shot of how it did look, compared to how they look now, it's just totally transformed the car. Martin's leather cleaning services. <laughs> yeah, it's transformed the car, isn't it? So we we have to just take Charles for a walk. Go on. Come on, Charles. Totally transformed the car. Clean that leather interior up for sure. So hopefully our time and effort has paid off by cleaning that very nice ivory white leather that we have been blessed with when buying this Toyota Celica. So a big thanks to my fiance Martin for really putting in the elbow grease and cleaning the leather seats and conditioning them for me. I was doing the clean up the plastics, a bit of hoovering, Martin also did a bit of hoovering, but yeah, it's just amazing what difference that clean has made to the leather because it was literally brown when we got the car. But now all the dirt has gone from all the little cracks and crevices which really showed up when the leather was dirty. So yeah, it looks really good and I'm so impressed and now the car's in our ownership we'll definitely keep on top of cleaning and conditioning that leather from now onwards weird thing as i've gone to lock the car up the driver's side window started working what is that all about i don't know but i'm just a little bit iffy now i don't want that window switch or whatever does break while the window's down so it's i've lost my confidence in that driver's uh, electric window at the moment but yeah it's working at the moment so whatever i'll leave it more sleeker videos to come thanks for watching this video and yeah, I'll see you in another car video nonetheless. Thanks for watching.